Hello and you are very welcome back to DaVinci Resolve A to Z, your one stop for all things DaVinci Resolve and this is DaVinci Resolve Quick Tips so let's just jump right in. In this episode of Quick Tips we are going to look at three very handy methods of setting your aspect ratio inside of DaVinci Resolve, each with some pros and cons but you'll come away having good options that should cover all bases. Method number one is the fully manual option and to do this it's as simple as coming into your project settings, going into your master settings to timeline resolution and doing the math. So this is 1920 by 1080, just full HD footage, but we shot it for 235 in mind. The camera had the overlays for 235, so our composition and our framing is for that aspect ratio. Therefore, and uh, if we change our height to 817 and we'll hit save, that'll automatically be now going into 235 aspect ratio. Uh, the pros of this method are you will have a smaller file size versus doing output blanking or overlays because you are not going to be rendering out a bunch of extra pixels. Um, even though it would, it's not that big a difference in file size because they're just simple black pixels, but it still makes a difference. The downside to this is if you don't know the numbers off the top of your head, you're going to have to go doing the calculations and it can get awkward and tricky and it just can waste a bit of time especially if you're in a quick crunch so that's just something to be wary of and a downside and a little thing that might catch you out is the image scaling mismatched resolution files might be set to something like scale entire image to fit for example in which case you'll accidentally get these sidebars uh, so just make sure that you have that set up correctly so you don't get any unwanted results there uh, our next method, if I just set this back to the full 1920 by 1080, hit save. Our next method is what I call the fully automatic method, which is if we go to timeline, down to output blanking, and we can select 235 right here inside of Resolve because it's one of the presets they haven't decided to implement. We can click on that and it'll give you your 235 bars within your 1920 by 1080 project uh, settings. The plus side to this, there's two, is one is the same as before. You can opt in your delivery tab settings to ditch these black pixels and save on hard drive space, though there is situations where you'll want to keep those and in which case you can keep them and just slightly increase your file size. The other plus side is it's fully automatic. So for example, if you're working with 2K versus HD, 2K is ever so slightly wider, therefore, doesn't require so much adjustment to the height to make a 235 aspect ratio. So you'd have to go recalculate and to do that by via method number one, for example. So by being fully automatic, it just reads whatever the numbers are and gives you the perfect aspect ratio, no matter what your settings are. So it's a very quick and handy way of doing that. The downside is, however, is it's missing a lot of common popular aspect ratios. For example, and what we're about to look at, two to one, super popular these days. So off the top of my head, Chernobyl was shot in an aspect ratio of two to one and so is Stranger Things. So it's a very popular aspect ratio that for whatever reason just isn't included. So how do we go about doing that? Well, let's set this back to no aspect ratio on there. The method I use is to use aspect ratio overlays. The pack here that there's a link in the description for you to download this pack via No Film School. So it's a link within a link but whatever credit with where credits do is here. So you will have 185, 2 to 1, 235, 239, 255, 276, 3 and 4 to 1 aspect ratios ready to go for a 2, 2K aspect ratio, or sorry, project resolution, 2K, 3K, 4K, 5K, 6K and UHD. Now, for whatever reason, this pack just doesn't have HD in it or maybe I ditched them by accident. I don't know exactly what's going on there, um, but that's fine because UHD is a very easy calculation. You just have to zoom for a HD project. So we want our 1920 1080p footage to be two to one. So I pulled in the UHD 200 overlay. So I'll drag this into our timeline over our footage and it's not seen because this is for uh, it's too big. It's a UHD in a 1080p. So in zoom in our inspector if I hit this 0.5 That'll scale it down to be the correct size and now I have two to one aspect ratio The other way of doing it would be if I reset that would be switching our image scaling Mismatched resolution files back to this scale entire image to fit 
so everything fits correctly within that uh, project resolution setting. And again, you know, 235 to one, and it just automatically changes its zoom to 0.5 just behind the scenes. So that's to how you get those other aspect ratios. Um, plus side to this is you don't have to do a whole lot of thinking. It's just kind of ready to go. The downside is though you can't do anything to not render out these black pixels, uh, which you may or may not want to do. Um, so just keep that in mind. The other thing is this aspect ratio pack, it's free, it's awesome. You should definitely go and download it and just have it in your back pocket. It may not include the aspect ratio you're looking for, in which case, to do this method, you may very well have to go out and find another aspect ratio pack that may or may not be free, but the methodology will still be the same. So with that, we'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.